Hello, it is October the 28th. I am in the glaze room trying to get a little bit of pots glazed. I've been sick for the whole week and I'm out here kind of late because it just, it just turned five minutes after 12 and so I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done but this is a yarn bowl that I had to redo. My friend's bowl messed up in the kiln uh, on the last load that I did and I've redone her bowl but I've done it in a different color. Um, this time her bowl is done in two coats a Renaissance Opal Luster and it has one coat of Mako Cinnabar over the top. I saw a bowl done like this at my my suppliers and I showed her a picture of it and she liked it so we're hoping this one will turn out this time. And here is another yarn bowl that I am replacing. I had this young lady's bowl uh, had a bad accident in the transit of uh, shipping it to her so I had to redo it. Uh, this yarn bowl has two coats of Pam's Blue over two coats of Peacock. And this is my dog Dixie who is waiting on me to give her a french fry because I stopped to take me a little break so she thinks she's supposed to have a french fry too. Catch it. Oops, she caught it. It looked like it was going on the floor. Ooh, that was good, wasn't it? Mmm. She's in this shop with me every night I come out here. She's very faithful about staying out with me till 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning sometimes. Aren't you, Dixie? Yes, girl. <laughs> okay. And here is one of my medium yarn bowls. This one is done in one dip of Chino. And then I covered it with two coats. Ooh, two coats of really red. Okay, in case my friend's bowl does not turn out, I did another bowl here. This one here has two coats of Peacock, then one coat of Opal Luster, and then one coat of plum and the plum is a Laguna Glaze and the the Opal Lester is the Renaissance which is a Duncan Glaze okay okay on this mug I put Tiger's Eye on the bottom actually I dipped it all the way then I applied Toshi Brown over the top about a quarter of the way and then I put a metal green a little bit over the top and you see it's I did this last night so it's dried quite a good bit. I'm going to leave it like this and the heat in the kiln should get rid of this. It should, it should be okay without any kind of uh, without any kind of pinholes or anything. If it doesn't work out, it'll be my first time that it didn't. But the mug really looked pretty with just the dark color in the leaf. So that was kind of an idea for later. Okay, on this mug I used Laguna Gloss Black. On the top, I put Red Gold. I tried this the last time, and the mug was just a disaster. And I think it was because I had forgotten to put some... Uh, um, a glaze on on the uh, rim of a few of my mugs after I had done turn the kiln on and it was like 200 degrees and I let the kiln cool off and I think the wax um, disappeared so when it got time to do the uh, re re fired I, I guess it kind of ran anyway I'm not sure about that it could have just been the red gold too so I'm not taking any chances with this I'm just gonna put a little bit on the rim here and see what happens Okay, here's that same mug that I do every time I do a kiln opening. This is the red shimmer with the eggshell over the top. Okay, on this mug here, this is just a test. I dipped it in Tiger's Eye. And then it was only dipped half ways. 
and then I dipped it in red shimmer inside and then all the way down here as you see and then over the top I applied eggshell so this is just a test okay I did three at least three or four of these mugs here that see moody blue all over three coats and then I put gunmetal green over the top okay here is a mug I did with just the snowy plum I want to see how this turns out before I do too many of them okay this is another test mug this is tiger's eye all over one dip and it has red shimmer half of the way with eggshell on the top now I did one prior to this that was with the black so I decided to try it with the the tiger's eye this mug was done with one dip of tiger's eye then I dipped it in red gold half the ways down and then over the top I put eggshell here's another mug that I did with it has one dip of red gold over one dip of blue rutil on white clay I did one dip of red gold over a dip of blue rutile using my tan clay that I've been using this is one of my casseroles that I did I dipped it in tiger's eye and then I turned around and used wax resist and made these little circles like uh, Brandy Ross Pottery does yes I'm copying her um, just to test this out and over the top I used a new glaze opulence autumn frost I've looked it up a friend of mine had sold this to me and I'm not sure how it's exactly gonna look it's kind of like a almost like a cappuccino if you know what that looks like so I'm going to test out one of the casseroles and see what I can do with it this is the pie plate that I did for my husband and I've just put Toshi Brown um, one dip or shall I say I poured it I waxed these circles and then I applied Toshi Brown um, two coats and the circles look kind of bad in here because the wax I don't think it's um, really was dry enough I'm hoping that doesn't show so much when the plate is done but it's very cold in my shop right now and there's not very much that wants to dry so We'll see what happens.